fade to black. Welcome to the very first episode from the Dr. Pepper Diner. Uh, <laughs> this is a, a new series I want to do where I talk about the most underrated, forgotten, overlooked horror movies or slasher movies ever. In the first episode today, I will talk about Fade to Black. So the synopsis for this movie is, a shy, lonely film buff embarks on a killing spree against those who brobe and betray him all the while stalking his idol, a Marilyn Monroe look-alike. Uh, so this movie is directed by Vernon Zimmerman, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's just an amazing film. I think this movie is so well made, it was released in 1980, and it's sort of, uh, it's kind of like Scream, I mean in Scream you also have like these kids that just uh, reenact their favorite movies, and uh, this movie also has that. The main character is really likable. The killer is actually really likable. Um, he's uh, a movie buff, so you know it's kind of relatable for us guys. And this movie just also features tons of like movie references. Uh, there's a, a scene in like some office or something like that, like a building where you can see the tourist trap poster and also the Halloween poster, this one over here, which I just thought was really fun to see. You also get to see like Night of the Living Dead posters in the background. Overall, this movie is kind of ahead of its, its time, I guess you could sort of say it, because it's kind of like a meta horror movie, I guess you could call it that. It uh, it's it's really interesting. The killer also wears multiple different sort of masks, I guess you could say, and acts like zombies in one scene. Then he's like a businessman uh, for <laughs> looking for revenge with guns and stuff in another. So that was really creative and different to see for me because usually it's just like, hey, here I have Michael Myers with the white mask, and you know that's it, and Jason with the hockey. Well, uh, yeah, Jason has the sack hat and Uber Jason. Uh, but yeah, mostly he wears the same suit, you know, and that's with most killers. Um, but here you have actually like five or, yeah, something like five different suits, which was really interesting to see and totally different. I also got to give a shout out to Rod and Roger DeMarco from uh, 3B Productions. I think that's what it's called, something like that. I think there's like one more thing in there. But uh, I also got to give him a shout out because he actually, um, well, I guess you could say he recommended it because he did like a top five movies of 1980 and this was his number two. So yeah, I, I, I really like what he told about it. Uh, he also said that it was really Scream and I gotta agree, I mean, I told it earlier. Um, so yeah, the link will be in the description to that, to his video of the top five 1980. Uh, the number one will get a video on this episode soon too. But the main character has some really twisted scenes and it's really honestly sad to see him uh, uh, change that much because he's actually a pretty cool guy. I mean, he knows way too much fucking stuff about movies. He uh, knows everything. I mean, he kind of brags about it too. You're so smart, Stella. Tell me what James Cagney's name was in White Heat. And that causes some really uh, comedic scenes, actually. I, it was pretty funny. I mean, it, it, I guess for some people it's kind of relatable. I mean, I don't brag that I know so much stuff about movies, you know. Uh, but it, but it was pretty funny to see because I know some people who do brag about that stuff and I immediately thought about them, uh, so that was really comedic. I also really like the soundtrack for this movie, it has uh, like a piano playing which causes for some really creepy and eerie scenes. This movie is really intense at some points and really suspenseful. Overall, I really enjoyed this film and I would actually give this one 8.5 Dr. Peppers out of 10. It has a really good pace, really interesting characters, and I'll definitely rewatch this someday soon. It also has a novelization, which I'll also uh, check out, because uh, hopefully that'll go more in-depth to the main character, uh, Eric Bineford. Anyway, I really don't have anything else to say except for thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. <laughs>
pissing me off, Roger. It's gonna be wild.